Thank you, Mr. President. I make this statement on behalf of Humanists International and the Hungarian Atheist Association. Hungary has defended legal amendments banning content that portrays diverse sexual orientations and gender identities as taking action against pedophiles and protecting children's rights. In reality, the amendments are a direct attack on the rights and dignity of LGBTI plus people, including LGBTI plus children. We remind Hungary that the parental rights to have children educated according to their beliefs is not absolute. It must be balanced with the child's own rights, including their right to freedom of thought, equality, self-identity, and an inclusive education, including access to scientific knowledge under the CRC. We deeply regret that Hungary has not accepted recommendations to address hate speech against minorities. State officials continue to vilify minorities, in particular migrants, Roma, the non-religious, and LGBTI plus people. By way of example, during the UPR, the minister stated that Hungary considers migrants a danger to the country's security, culture, and health. Such rhetoric is deliberately employed by the state to justify discriminatory practices, including, for example, the criminalization of asylum seekers, activists working on their behalf, or a systemic failure to address the exclusion of Roma pupils from church-run schools. These rights violations are facilitated by a shrinking space for freedom of expression and an erosion of secularism. A repressive media law, which states that public broadcasters should seek to promote family values, has been used to harass those who question the state's exclusivist national identity. Janos Rutka and Viktor Lukács were unlawfully dismissed after expressing support for LGBTI plus families, while I myself aspired and received death threats because I questioned the practice of child baptisms in a newspaper article. We urge the Hungarian government not to use traditional values as a pretext for undermining human rights and to reconsider its rejection of recommendations on addressing discrimination and upholding freedom of expression for all.